Today, I'm happy to be interviewing one of the members and advisors of the Authentic Business Community, or ABC. And if you have any questions, you can, in fact, ask her more questions about it. Her name is Bings Huang, and she is an intuitive healer. And we're going to be talking about a wonderful topic today. The topic is gentleness and how it can be, how it can have a healing effect on you. So let me read you Bing's bio, and then I'll bring her on uh, for the conversation. Bing Huang is an intuitive healer who is passionate about helping fellow empaths manage their overwhelm better so that they can embrace their openness as a beautiful gift. She is currently writing a book to share her three-step healing framework, which is be gentle, be you, and stay open. Bings, thanks for having this conversation and welcome. Thanks for having me, Judge. Yeah, uh, great to have you here. To just like to mention that uh, I just had a sore throat this morning. So sorry about the voice. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> you, we are practicing, this topic is about gentleness. So uh, yeah. we'll, we'll practice gentleness in this conversation uh, with your voice <laughs> as well. So if you need to sip some, you know, drink while while we're speaking that's perfectly fine so okay. for beings tell tell us about um what does gentleness mean to you why has it become important for you uh it i i've been learning um energy healing various energy healing modalities for the past 10 years and they belong to usually there are two types of healing the proactive one, where we actively do things or send energies to the client's body. And the other one is the more passive one, where we just observe and allow things to unfold gently. So I really love the second concept of allowing things to unfold gently. And it works for me because um, as an empath myself, I'm easily overwhelmed, uh, usually with emotions from other people. And just like to share about my experience with my mentor who taught me uh, this modality called the wonder method. So wonder as in a childlike wonder. And uh, when I first had a session with him on the wonder method, I, I was receiving the healing and it felt like Nothing happened at all. I was still myself, but I was very much myself. And I felt uh, very grounded and very present. So uh, it's really a beautiful experience. It's, it's nothing like the superhero kind of healers. <laughs> but I love this because I feel like I'm, I'm more me. And I would like to share this with other empaths who feel overwhelmed with um, energies from the outside. Mm, yeah, I, I, I love this idea of wonder and, and gentleness. Uh, it is such a well beautiful way to go through life and a, grace, a graceful way. And um, gentleness to me um, is, is kind of a trust, right? Trust in yes. life. And that um, we don't have to try so hard <laughs> to yeah. get somewhere, but that uh, we can, that I guess success or our goals can happen uh, in, a more, in a more natural way. Uh, mm. So I, I like that you're bringing this in. So tell us about, you know, and, and I'm glad you mentioned the word overwhelm. Because I think a lot of people watching this or listening to this can relate to, to the feelings of overwhelm, especially these days with the amount of social media, uh, with the amount of opportunities or connections, um, and just life gets so busy and more and more busy, it feels like, as, as the years go on. Um, and also, we should mention you—you you have young children. 
<laughs> yes, I have so, uh, three young sons. <laughs> so that is, of course, you know, uh, very overwhelming to <laughs> to be a mother. <laughs> um, yeah. So so thank you for bringing that idea in. And I and so how how does gentleness help with overwhelm, or how how can it help with that for those who are watching who who do feel that? Okay, so um, so we have uh, two types of nervous systems. So one is the sympathetic, <clears throat> and which is the fight or flight response, and the other one is parasympathetic, which helps with digestion and healing and strengthening our immune system. And that is the part I call gentleness. So um, we already have this innate gentleness that we need to allow more of in our increasingly busy lives. So if we, I think, um, let's just spend a minute to contemplate on this if it's possible. So I'd like you to just be aware of your breathing, the way you are breathing right now. And you can pay slight attention to your throat, how the air is moving in and out of your throat as you breathe. And as you do this, you'll start to Feel this gentle energies in your body. And there may be a slight flow of energy moving around uh, in your body. So I always picture it like a, a little angel gently flying across to various sides of various parts of your body and just doing gentle restoration, allowing your shoulders to soften, allowing your breath to deepen. Allowing what you've been compressing to unwind more. And Hope you can feel this softness in your body as well. So this is the short exercise that you can do at any time of the day, just to allow the gentleness in so that you're not um, bracing yourself to all your daily tasks. I know I do that when I'm um, at my computer, when I'm typing my books, so I need to remind myself that I'm not doing a marathon. And your, uh, your co-working sessions really help as well for um, allowing me to be mindful. So these are things we can do in our everyday life to practice gentleness. Mm. I'm so glad this is recorded because people can watch that segment again to practice along. Um, so that's wonderful. Um, so you are writing a book. This is exciting. This is wonderful. Uh, and um, you are going to be putting together this, this idea of a gentleness toolkit. Right. Yeah. So, so talk about that. What, what is part of the, the toolkit for, for, for gentleness? Okay. So, um, so my first um, training in being gentle is in being aware of the energy. So practicing energy healing, but it's not really for everyone. It can feel very abstract. So it will be good to have certain uh, physical reminders at your side to remind you to be gentle in yourself. So the, the, these are the top three things that I use. So the first one would be 
my sons. <laughs> so um, hugging them. So the physical hugs and kisses uh, really allows me to soften myself. And um, growing up in my family, I wasn't used to hugging. So I'm more uh, constrained in that uh, part of uh, showing physical affection. And um, this hugging is really new to me since I became a mother. And I find that really, really helpful, especially when um, sometimes I hate them <laughs> when they're throwing tantrums. So it's a love-hate thing and I regulate myself with hugging. Um, the other thing would be uh, my own body. So I like to do intuitive singing and intuitive movement. And this can be done in any part of the day. It doesn't even have to sound nice because it's just a release of your, your throat energies, just doing uh, simple toning like Ooh, da, 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 da. and it can go into a little melody that you can repeat throughout the day. And um, movement could be just the simple moving of your fingers, feeling the energies around you, imagining if energy is tangible, how would you touch it gently? And uh, also lubricating your joints uh, very gently. Uh, it's uh, pretty, pretty fun. You can do it alone or with your kids. <laughs> And the, the third tool that I love using would be essential oils. So like um, lavender and even orange. So these are my uh, happy tools. I inhale them, I put a drop in my palms and rub it and inhale the scent. And sometimes when, I'm, uh, when I have more time, I imagine um, how do I live out the essence of lavender, which is calming and soothing? Uh, how do I live out the essence of orange, which is happy and creative? So I use orange a lot in my uh, book writing as a small ritual before writing. Yeah, so these are the top tools that I use in my uh, daily gentleness to the kids. Mm, that's wonderful. <laughs> that's, that's great. And uh, you work with clients one-to-one. Uh, -one. Mm -hmm. uh, and when you work with clients, I wonder, uh, I mean, I could see people calling you the, the gentleness coach <laughs> or, you know, the, the gentle healer or something like that. Because I think your presence itself is a wonderful reminder to the client, um, you know, when they meet with you, it's a reminder it's throughout the rest of the week that, ah, oh, that's right, this is, this is a way that I can be. And so I think just your presence itself is, is healing for people. Um, you. Do, you, uh, do you work with clients on finding their own gentleness tools? I imagine different, so for example, somebody who doesn't have kids or somebody who lives alone, unfortunately wouldn't be able to, to use the, the tool of hugging, uh, but they might, have <laughs> something, they might have something else you know, in their life that, uh, that, that could be part of their gentleness toolkit, yeah? Yeah, so uh, essential oils are a really great tool and they are more, much more easily available now. And um, the other thing that I do is, I'm starting to do more of is uh, customized, customized healing meditations. So I mentioned their name in the meditation and I, I channel um, some uh, words for them to remind themselves like a mantra and a uh, healing exploration. So the healing energies are already embedded as I do the recording specifically for that person. That's great. And uh, do you use your intuitive singing with your clients or in the meditations? Uh, not yet. I'm <laughs> going to. So I'm, this is something new that I do for myself and with my kids. So um, just try to expose myself more to the free videos to see if um, clients will want it in their videos. 
I think that would be, yeah, I think that's worth trying. It's, um, that's a unique part of what you do and you have a nice voice. So I think that that would be a healing experience for people. Um, anything else you want to say about, uh, how you work with clients, anything, any other thoughts on that? Uh, okay. Um, so it is very important for my clients to be, um, brave enough to feel what they feel. So that is the crucial part of the healing. And I always check in with them how they feel about this particular challenge that's troubling them uh, before the session, during the session, after the session. So the feeling will guide them into having more clarity. So I, I don't really tell them what to do. This is, um, some people are not okay with it. Some love it because it helps them tune into their own uh, intuition. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it depends if that's, um, that's attractive, a way to work with me. Yeah. <laughs> and people can find you, uh, find how to work with you on your website, which is www.bingshuanghealer.com and I'll spell that. It's B-I-N-G-Z H-U-A-N-G healer.com bingshuanghealer.com and of course I will put a link in the notes of the video so people can click on it easily. You also have a Facebook um, page that you update with content so I will be sure to link that. And you. you have a you have an online uh, a free newsletter yeah email newsletter called the uh, online healing sanctuary. Uh, it's actually a, a platform, so oh, great. it's something like um, a course that I update regularly with uh, my free meditations, podcasts, interviews, uh, short uh, quotes, insights. Wonderful. Great. Great. So people can check that out on your website too, or they can book a one-to-one -one energy healing session with you. Um, yes. So beings, thank you so much for your work. And you um, let's talk a little bit about the fact that you're part of the authentic business community, ABC. Um, for those who don't know what ABC is, it is a, uh, you know, we, we just started this as a business referral network for fellow um, authentic business owners, people who are creating a livelihood from their, their own services, programs, and products. And you are one of the first um, members and advisors in ABC, which means that people can inquire with you about ABC. They can join the network through you. Um, it is free. I should say it is free to join ABC. There's no cost to join. And in fact, when you join ABC through Bing's, you get a gift uh, for joining through her. And um, you can read more about it. Uh, and maybe Bing's, we can put a link uh, to your okay. ABC page on, on, the, on the video notes so people can look, look at that too. Do you want to mention what your, free, your, your gift is for joining ABC through you? Uh, yeah, it's the 60-minute one-to-one healing session via uh, Zoom. And you can use that time to talk about your issues. We can do some unwinding. And if there's any goal you'd like to move towards too, we can unwind those blocks as well. So uh, wow, that's, it's a that's good very, way. Yeah, that's very generous. Um, because, of course, you usually charge for your energy healing sessions and so if anybody's yeah. interested in being part of a business referral, uh, business referral and support network, uh, it's free to join, but you do have some commitments of um, finding simple ways to support each other. Uh, consider joining ABC through Bing's and you get this free one-to-one -one energy healing session with her. So that's wonderful. Um, so Bing's, is there anything as we close this conversation, anything else you want to say about gentleness? What can we kind of end the <laughs> conversation with? Um, I just like to share that 
to be brave, to be you, even without your overwhelm. Um, it's you're more than just your overwhelm. Yeah, a lot more than that. And when you embrace all of you, you shine. And that's what we really need from everyone. So, yeah. Yes, I agree. Thank you so much for, for that encouragement and for your work. So thank you so much, Bings. Thank you, Judge.